Today is Thursday and I am full of hay fever. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting for my antihistamine to kick in um, and hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. But today I have got some quick, fast work I need to get done today because I've got a collection booked for my parcels, the ones that you would have seen me prep before this, hopefully. Um, they will be getting collected today and they usually get picked up in the afternoon. And I have two little wholesale orders. I say little, they're um, small amounts of mugs, enamel mugs, and cards, greeting cards, I think, for two of two little orders. So I would really, really like to be able to try and whiz through them today so they can also get picked up this afternoon, because um, that would be really helpful. I don't like just calling back the collection people for like one or two parcels. I feel like that's a bit of a waste of their travel time um, and things. Obviously, if I only have one or two parcels, that's what's going to have to happen. But just the fact that these ones are maybe manageable, hopefully, we'll see if I can get it done. And let's see, I bet you now that I'm going to do that, they'll end up coming this morning. And that'd be typical but no they do usually come in the afternoon so i'm going to do that quickly get on and try and get those done i'm hoping in my cupboard i have some enamel mugs already prepped i, I do i'm just not sure if they're the right ones or not um so yeah we're going to go and try and get through them as quickly as possible and then see where the day takes us Can you hear Birch growling? There's a cat at the door. Stop it! <laughs> Aww, he's a cutie as well. managed to get these two orders done. This is the last little one here I've just packaged there. Um, so they're now both ready to go off with the other two that I've got sitting for the collection this afternoon too. So I'm really chuffed. It's just gone 12pm. Um, so I'm really pleased that I managed to get them done this morning. I'm now going to go and grab some lunch. I'm really hungry today. <laughs> so I'm going to have an early lunch and then I've got a time-lapse painting video to edit this afternoon. So I've already filmed it and um, I'm going to edit it. You'll hopefully have seen that one before this one comes out, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I'm going to do that this afternoon. I'm I'm going to try and press a few more enamel mugs to replen my little cupboards that I've got because I've obviously used some of them today to package these orders. Um, and I like keeping a stock of things like this, obviously for this purpose exactly, for when little orders come in it's quite quick to just turn them around. Um, but also for Etsy orders and I have Etsy orders to prep as well. So do that this afternoon um, and that'll be another day done.
bit of a problem with the uh, blank mugs that I got delivered. One of the boxes out of five, they're usually really good, but one of the boxes out of five came really badly damaged. Like this is the this is the actual box that they came in. There's just holes everywhere. And then um, there was loads of the mugs smashed in the box, which is such a shame, I hate that. Um, contacted the company, obviously, they're really good about it, but it was just a different delivery person than we usually get. Um, so it was a bit disappointing, but also the mugs that did survive in this box, all their gift boxes are ruined as well, they're all crushed. Um, and they're just not nice, like I wouldn't give these to stockists because they're not going to be able to give them to customers, it doesn't look very good. Um, so these all get recycled, these, this will get recycled. I do usually reuse the big boxes that all the mugs come in to package my bigger orders and that's what I reuse and they're really good because they're really sturdy, well usually. They're usually really sturdy. <laughs> Not when they've been kicked about like this one, unfortunately. Um, but this lot and the, the white gift boxes that are damaged will all get recycled now. And I do buy in these spare anyway, which is good. So I do have them for packaging these mugs, but it's just a shame. I hate creating waste of any kind. Like that's one of the main things that I try and do in my business is really reduce the waste. Um, so when things like this happen, it's really disheartening because it's not the company's fault and it's just, you know, it's just one of these things that happen. So yeah, we do try our best to reuse and reduce and recycle all these things. So unfortunately, these guys are getting recycled, but they will get a reuse somewhere in the next life. a good weekend. Today is Monday and I've got loads to crack on with this week. I do postage just usually on a Monday and either a Thursday or Friday at the end of the week during the year except for at Christmas time when it's busy and I usually do three post drops every week um, but at the moment we're just on two so today is Monday I'll need to do a post drop um, and I also have done a, quite a bit of paperwork this morning too so I've already gone and replied to my emails that's up to date um, and like I said I've sorted out some paperwork and one of the really exciting ones I've done is I'll quickly show you my donations that I was collecting for Ukraine. Um, I'm not sure if you saw this, I hope you did. I designed a card pack that I was selling on behalf of the British Red Cross Ukraine Appeal. Um, and every, the full donation for the card pack was being donated to the, the British Red Cross. And so I've already, I'd already paid two installments of that. I started it in, I think it was March, very re like quickly after the war broke out. And um, I started doing that. I started them in March um, and I've already paid a March amount and an April amount um, to the British Red Cross from the cards that I'd sold but I wanted to tie up the ends of what was left and then pay that today so I've done that this morning um, and I have to say I'm so proud and so pleased and so thankful to everybody that bought a card pack because the total if you can see on my little thing was £504.90 was what was raised by selling all, the, all these card packs. That was over I think it was like 75 card packs or something was amazing that you guys bought, purchased from me over that time. So that was wicked. But I'm so, honestly, I never expected in, in a million years that we would get over £500 for them, for them. So thank you. I feel really, really proud of that. And on the back of this, this is the paperwork, but on the back of this is the um, PayPal. I'll just show you quickly because I don't want my information to be on there. <laughs> but there's three lots of the PayPal payments to um, the British Red Cross. So that's wicked. They've all been done and tied up. 
Um, the other paperwork I did today was for my other donation scheme, that's my environmental donation scheme, um, where I have three charities. It is the Butterfly Conservation, the uh, Scottish Wildlife Trust and the Marine Conservation Society. They are the three environmental charities that I support through my work and that is by the sale of art prints and the pack of six cards. Uh, any pack of six cards itself, 50 pence from each sale goes towards one of the charities and one pound from every art print sold goes to one of the charities and it kind of depends on the artwork as to which charity it goes to if that makes sense. So um, any of the marine things like my whales or my puffins uh, dolphins and things that all goes to, obviously to the marine conservation all the butterfly things and wildflowers and the bees anything with bees on goes to the butterfly conservation and then anything left any of the other wildlife stuff goes to the Scottish Wildlife Trust so I was sorting those out today as well so that I feel better that that's all up to date and um, with that um, and yeah so now I'm going to get on and package my Etsy orders but before I do that I actually need to make some letter packs because I'm all out of my letter packs and I had some sales for them. So I'm away to go and do that and I'm going to take you with me and show you how I make my letter packs. <music> Well, that's us prepped more orders this week. We've processed 
wholesale orders, we've wrapped Etsy orders, we've packaged some stock and had that all ready. And so thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching this vlog, I really appreciate it. I'd love it if you have any questions about my videos to pop them down below in the comments. I will either answer them straight away or I'll answer them in a vlog style if it's something specific that you would like to see more of or see more in depth, I would love that. Um, so do let me know if there's something that you would like to see, I'll do that for you, I'll get onto that as soon as possible. Um, I really like showing you the behind the scenes things, I think it helps to explain more about me and my process and what it is that I actually do. So I'm, I am enjoying making the videos, obviously I'm very new at this and I hope to get better. But yeah, any any uh, comments that you've got or, or useful hints and tips would be really much appreciated. Um, I really appreciate you spending your time with me, I'm really grateful that you're here and I just want to say thanks and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys, bye.